Hi guys, this is my enclosure after everything. If you want to see how I did it, then let's start. So this is my hamster Tamika and I gave her some mealworms because she loves them. And after that I just put her into a safer place so she doesn't get stressed by all the process. Yeah. Bye bye. And then I took also the water dish and put it to her so if she gets thirsty she can drink a little bit. So basically the next step is to brush my wooden materials so when I put them into the oven they don't start to burn. But we need to do this because you don't want your house to burn down by an accident and yeah we have to do this because there's no other way you can get these moths out of the wood. And you have to do this by 212 degrees so everything is clean after that and then you can reuse your stuff and you don't have to throw it away. So here you can see my self-made hamster tunnel which my hamsters love to use and if you want a DIY to it then just leave a comment down below. As you could see on the right side of the video I have to take their beautiful nest out now where my hamster Cleopatra is still asleep but I let her rest until it could no longer be avoided. I'm sorry for that but now you have to go out of this enclosure. To Tamika, she's waiting for you. We need a lot of hay. I used about 200 liters in total with the paper bedding included. I used white paper bedding and gray paper bedding, which you can see here. And I also use bird sand, I explain later why. And then I have different shapes of flags for my hamsters so they can explore the enclosure. And then I have a ceramic house which is good for the summer and some peanuts as treats. After I put the wooden stuff into the oven I start to take all the bedding out of the enclosure. This was the longest process and took me about two hours. A lot of dust came out and I needed to put my mask on so I didn't start to cough. Let's do a time jump so it's getting not too boring. Now you need two rags and also disinfectant pet safe spray. First of all I spray my rag with it and clean the bottom of my enclosure with it and after I'm done with it I take my wet rag and wipe the enclosure again and afterwards I use my vacuum to clean all the last dirt particles away. Nice! Now I take my sand my bird sand and refill my old sand with it. I use bird sand because it's way cheaper than the normal hamster sand and when you just sieve it like me here in the video you can get all the rough and big stones out of it and then it's good as normal hamster sand. That's why I use this. Sorry for that guys. Let's just continue where we left off. For now I've only put in the first layers of the bedding. As you can see I just have to fill my last two bags in. I intentionally used many different layers of bedding so that you don't always have the same substrate but also discover something new when borrowing. As you can see the bedding is still compressed. That's why you have to break it up into smaller pieces. You have to make sure that all the clumps get shredded into very tiny pieces. All in all it was very time consuming to change all the bedding. Usually I only do spot cleanings, which is also better for your hamster, 
because then they have something in their enclosure which smells like themselves. I'm using my trash can to compress the bedding again so the hamsters are able to burrow without their tunnels collapsing. To avoid moths you should freeze the hamster food for 3 days before you scatter it in the cage. I tried to make the enclosure similar as like the old setup so my hamsters doesn't feel too uncomfortable with the new situation. I put toilet paper into the ceramic houses so they can build a new beautiful nest. Now where my wooden stuff is cooked and cold I can reuse them and don't have to throw them away. It's important that your cage has enough hiding places and is crowded because hamsters feel more cozy when they can fastly hide themselves. One more hiding space follows for my sand bath. I really had fun to decorate the cage with all the different types of flags, millet and more. And as you can see Cleopatra is already enjoying to explore the enclosure and to find some food. While Tamika is more silly and wants to sleep but it's completely fine. Now I will leave you and you can get some rest. I really hope this will never happen again. Tamika loves millet the most after some mealworms. She's eating them in the sand so I have to clean it more often than usual. Do you also think that this dried plant looked like an apple tree? I've forgotten the name of this plant, but it looks like a tree in the autumn. You also need some chewing toys in the cage so the teeth of your hamster don't get too long. I think the wooden ball is the perfect toy to keep them buzzy and healthy so, and they don't get bored. A walnut is also good and with the peanut you can make it a little bit harder to get too fast the treat. The bedding is by 19 centimeters, that would be around 7 inches. That's it with my video, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like and comment if you want to. So, bye!